Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Eric Marks with EA Productions here again with another tutorial. Um, today we're going to be talking about guns, everything action. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make your gunshots look real, um, as real as possible anyway, without actually firing a real weapon. Um, I know my tutorials so far have been on gun stuff. You probably think I'm like a really violent person with anger problems, but I promise you I'm not. I just, I like action movies. I'm a big action movie nerd, so just wanted to clarify that. Okay, so here we go. Again, as always, open After Effects. I use CS5. Again, this tutorial will also work for CS4. Um, we import our footage with the keyboard command Apple I. There is my footage. All right, once it imports, you drag it into this guy down here, and that will create a new composition and show you your footage in the playback window. Um, now you'll notice um, this footage here. Let me render it real quick so I can play it for you in real time. Um, all I did was just set up a camera and uh, video me shooting my uh, green gas blowback airsoft gun. And you'll notice it's really slow motion if you watch it. See, it's kind of slower. Um, I shot it in 60 frames per second, which means it's it'll it'll just go uh, much slower than real time. Uh, the normal time frame is like 24 frames per second, but uh, I wanted to shoot it slower so that you could see that right there, the uh, slide blowback. See the gun the slide blows back. Um, so that way it it kind of gives you guys a really good idea on how to make your gunshots look real. Now you don't always have to shoot your footage in 60 frames. But I just did for this tutorial, just for the sake of showing you, um, you know, basically how real your gunshots can look just by firing an airsoft gun. So let's get started. First things first, your gun needs fire coming out of the end of the barrel, which is called a muzzle flash. Real guns do have this, so let's Apple I and import our muzzle flash. Okay, so muzzle flash right here. Now, first thing you'll notice is that there's a black, uh, here I'll enlarge it so you can see, there's a big black background on this um, muzzle flare. So, uh, how do we get rid of this, right? Um, there's, there's a few different ways. My favorite way is to go to Effect, and then down to Keying and Color Key. Now, what this does is we can actually composite out this background. So, we go to the little paint dropper here, and we choose the black, so that way it knows what color to key out and then we increase the color tolerance and check that out no more black okay we can feather it just a tad alright so there goes the black now we need to scale it to size and flip it around so choose this guy right here kind of flip it a little bit okay so now uh, scaling muzzle flashes to size is a big deal for a lot of people, I've noticed. Some people, I mean, they go crazy with it. They'll be like, okay, yeah, this is this is my gunshot. That's a little too much for me. Um, I'm not one of the guys that, that thinks it's like something like that. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where the muzzle flashes or something like that. Oddly enough, that is what most real guns look like. But in films, for whatever reason, um, you always see the professionals use a much larger than life muzzle flash just to kinda beef up the special effects and the scenery for that scene okay so um, you'll notice it's it's about the size that I like to keep it at Let me line it up a little better probably need to turn it a little bit more um, you can kinda fine tune the stuff how you like it this is just how I like to do it so remember I'm not trying to tell you what to do here I'm just showing you ways to do it okay so we have that in there so if you watch it so far um, wait till my, alright, see that, how my gun kicked back? That's probably where we want to add the muzzle flash. So, you'll add it there. You'll come down here to the timeline, and you'll notice, well, here's the muzzle flash track right here. It just, look, it constantly plays. Well, it's not what we want. Um, we want it to start when my gun blows back, like that, right there. So, what you can do is, just go down here till you get the arrow and literally just drag the clip up on the timeline until it gets to your playhead. And that just 
makes the clip start where your playhead is. And then you can drag it back. I typically just like to make my muzzle flashes around like one frame long, so it's not too much. And they'll get so small sometimes that you'll have to go down here and, and kind of zoom your timeline in a little bit. So, uh, that, that looks, let's watch it real quick. Render it for a minute, make sure it looks okay. Uh, see, it's still just a little too long. Let's shorten it a little bit. Okay, that looks about right. Maybe a little more. Let's see here. There we go. That's that's about right. Okay, so now you'll notice um, the reason I shot this footage in a darker room is to show you guys um, for this tutorial, if I was actually shooting a weapon like that right there, um, the environmental reaction would be that it would cast, I mean, come on, that's a big fireball. It would cast light on the wall, on my hands, on my face. So how in the world do we get, you know, this muzzle flash to cast light on my face just like it, you know, it, to give to appear that it was actually a real muzzle flash? How do we do that? Well, I'm about to show you how. So, your footage that you imported, your base, your base footage right here, the clip, you're going to, to duplicate it by pressing Apple D. Okay, that just duplicated it. You'll make sure that the one on top, you change the blending mode to add. Okay, you'll see that made everything just a little lighter. It's not what you want exactly. You want to go up here to the pen tool, and you're going to draw a little shape on where you think that muzzle flash would cast some light. So, probably there, from my arm, around my hands a little bit there. Okay, so... Now you can see kind of what I'm doing. I'm adding, adding light here. And then uh, it would cast a big uh, reflection around kind of this area in front of the gun because that's where the fire is. So you can go up here to your elliptical tool. You can draw a big shape like that. Okay, so, um, oh, whoops. Um, so we did that. So now you're basically just going to want to line it up um, correctly here. Uh, I'll kind of extend it to the ceiling a little bit there. Um, oh, whoops. Um, let's back it up a little bit. Jesus. Sorry about this, guys. I'm being retarded here. Um, okay, then, since we already have uh, light on our hands, we're just going to feather it. So, in order to feather these masks, which basically, feathering basically just diffuses the light a little more, and it, it makes it not look like such a defined shape. So we're going to um, go to all the masks here that we've created, and click on all of them by shift selecting them, and press the F key. And look, there brought up the feathering on all of them. So you'll want to bring the feathering up, just kind of whatever you feel, you know, until you feel when it needs to stop. Um, I think about there looks good for me. Okay, so now, look what we've done. You can see light on the wall, around my hand, my arm, and my face. Okay, so, how do we line it up with the muzzle flash? Well, you put your playhead where the muzzle flash starts, and you, again, go down here to the very beginning of the timeline on your masked track, and you go all the way up until your playhead, which is where the muzzle flash starts. And then you would um, make it end where the muzzle flash ends. So let's drag this back some. We'll zoom it in again so we can see exactly where to end it. Okay. Basically, you just want them to be matched up. So right there looks good. Okay, we can zoom back out. And let's just see how that looks. Um, now, there's more you can do. You can add bullet shells. You can add smoke. Uh, that would be too long to go into right now. I promise I will do another tutorial on that for you guys. But right now, I'm just trying to give you the basic idea of how uh, um, to make your gunshots look as real as possible. So let's see how that looks real quick. Oh, let me deselect the masks here. All right. All right, now that looks pretty good. It's not bad at all. I'm in a dark room. I'm shooting a, a fake gun, and you got... The fire coming out of the gun, the muzzle flash, you got the reflection on the face, the reflection on the arm, the wall. Now normally I would I would really fine tune this this uh, reflection stuff. I mean, I've spent 
an hour before just on, on one reflection. Literally, I'm just trying to show you a basic idea so that you can fine-tune and tweak everything yourself. So don't think that I'm just some sloppy guy that does this in, in a few minutes. I'm, this is just for tutorial purposes. I mean, I see how that you can see still kind of a line in here. I, I, would, I would make kind of a, a more um, angled mask and I would I would probably even turn it to 3D and, and angle it a little to the right and I'd feather it some more basically I would I would tweak it the way I like to tweak it so I'm just showing you how to do all this so that you can kinda um, you know fix it to the way you like it I, the way I like it is the way I like it and you know that's that's it so I'm not trying to tell you how to do your footage I'm just showing you how to how to do this so that you can tweak it but in my opinion this looks really good for shooting an airsoft gun in a room that you didn't actually fire a real weapon um, so the next thing I would like to do, one more thing, the last thing is, see how the muzzle flash is still very defined? It, it's so defined that it almost looks a little fake. So there's one way to fix this. I'll, I'll select the muzzle flash, I'll go up to effect, I'll find stylize, and then glow. You'll add the glow filter. And you'll see what that just did. It kind of took away a lot of the defined lines, and you can actually go here to the glow threshold, and turn it down a little bit. Then I like to go to the glow radius and see what that's doing. It's kind of adding a cast of light around the muzzle. And you can just, you know, kind of add as much as you want. I think that looks about right to me. And then um, let's scrub through that real quick, render it, and play it through now with the glow. Looks pretty good. I think uh, with sound effects and and in the the moment of the action. That looks really good for just uh, you know something that I've done in just a few minutes. So um, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And uh, please follow us on YouTube. If you go to youtube.com slash Lawton Records, which is L-A-W-T-O-N Records, and our Facebook fan page. If you just go to facebook.com and search for the word overtaken, one word, or you can search for our business page. EA Productions, and we'd uh, be happy to help you guys with any uh, editing questions or edit your videos for you or even teach you how to use some of these softwares. Uh, just let us know. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.